hi guys and welcome to my channel so today i'm going to take you into my happy place which is setting up my planner now all of the things you see today each of these items cost no more than six dollars kid you not and majority of these things i did get from michael's but it's a combination of target and michael's and a little bit of walmart thrown up in there so we're just going to get right into it so i got this cutie oh, i absolutely love unicorns and i got this cutie from target now the target that i went to um close to my town didn't have the target dollar spot to my knowledge um i know a lot of girls um that i've seen on on here actually talked about um you know being able to get the planner inserts and the you know like the little sticky tabs and dividers and all the other good stuff well sadly my target didn't have it so i ended up having to go to michael's which where i left up and found really really cute accessories and things that matched my planner so I guess it was a godsend that I actually got this particular one. Now, this is a mini three-ring binder. I guess planner sizes, it would be an A5, if I'm not mistaken. Now, if I'm wrong, charge it to my head, not my heart. So, I paid $3.95 for this little baby. And I really wish it would have come with two pockets like it does with this one. But I only had this one, so... I actually cut this little slit right here that you see with a razor blade so that I'll be able to stick, you know, little journaling cards and things in the little pocket. And I'll get to this little, this little cutie pie in just a second. So, also from Target, I ended up getting these really cute washi tapes. They came in a, the pack together. And I want to say these two were $2.99. I also was able to get this pack of filler paper. That's just lines on both sides. You know, nothing too special. And when I went at first, they didn't have it. But I looked up and went back today. And they had this. So, yeah. That's pretty cool because I like to make lists and... I like to have, um, I do intend on having a gratitude portion of my planner and a prayer part. So that'll go great with that. And I was like, lucky enough to get in this really cute pink. Also from Target, I got these binder clips and these paper clips that fell perfectly into the color scheme. Like... And I want to say I paid $4.95 for those. And my new favorite glue that I've been using. Granted, this is not a planner accessory. This is just a glue I really, really love. And it's the wrinkle-free scotch glue stick. And it's really, really sticky. So it holds everything down really well. So, from Target, we're going to slide on over to Michael's. And... When I first went into Michael's, I had never been there. So I had no idea that they even sold things like this. I really just thought that they sold like fabric and, and floral things like that. Silly me, I know, right? So from Michael's, I was able to get these really cute sticker books. And I, I have used majority of those. Some of them I actually cut out to put in my little sticker pocket that I made. But I really love these stickers. They stick really well and they were so cute. I want to say these, each of these was $5.99, which is crazy. I know. I mean, they're cute, but that is really crazy given the fact that it's not a lot of stickers in there per se. But, hey, they worked. And I needed them. Uh oh, shaky camera. 
Also made by the same people, which is Par Craft Smith. I also got these die cut stickers, which I thought were just awesome. And at first, I was when I bought them and I started looking at them, I was like, oh god, like. I'm going to open the pack and I'm going to lose all of my little die cut stickers because I'm going to open the pack and they're just going to spill out everywhere. But these ladies actually put these in a resealable pouch so you really don't have to worry about the mess of losing any of those. Also, <laughs> by the same ladies, I was able to get these magnetic bookmarks. Try not to make it shine a little bit. I was able to get these and they actually have these little you can see these little parts and you can you know shake it they mean to shake the camera but you know I love 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 those so I even was able to pick up these adhesive pockets that actually have these strips on the back to just peel off and I have these two larger size ones and I have two smaller size ones and I have those already on my dividers because I had actually previously recorded a video and somehow or another I deleted everything so yeah they're already on there but yeah they don't look really good And because I couldn't find any of the inserts at Target, I kind of searched around and was looking for dividers and things like that for my planner. Now, majority of the stuff that I did see actually came with the six rings. So I actually had to go back and put holes to actually fit into my binder, which... I didn't mind, but I really hate it. Like, once you see me put them in, you'll actually see what I mean about them, you know, looking kind of rough and, and raggedy. But you live and you learn, so I'll know better next time. I'll probably actually go on Etsy and probably find me some on there if I can't find any to go with my planner in the store. But I actually was able to get this calendar book. And I got this calendar book for $5.99. And the insert, well, the insides of the pages actually look like this. You know, I have the blank month and the blank week. The only thing that I hated was the simple fact that each of the months is a week short. So instead of having five weeks, you only have four. So you have to kind of maneuver it the way that you need to normally I'm not busy at the beginning of the month per se unless it's like paying bills and anything like that so I mean me skipping a couple of day a couple of days you know it really didn't bother me but like I said you live and you learn with these things I really just hated that they they didn't have that week which kind of makes me mad that I paid the six dollars for it but on to the next one I was also able to find this paper pad and it had these really cute designs that I seen across and I really overlooked this I really did because I was so stuck on getting this $14 setup that had the dividers and the inserts but I only picked it up because I thought it was going to be on sale because the you know the sign right there they said forty percent off but once I went to the register it was sixteen dollars so it was a no go for me so I was a I was lucky enough to find this paper pad that this the the car the paper pad like the pieces of paper are already pretty much the same size or small enough to perfectly fit into the binder. So that was a plus given the fact that I don't have a, a paper cutter just yet. To perfectly just be cutting papers. So yes, yes, yes. 
and I was like, if I didn't say it, I paid six dollars for that. Now to these next two items. Originally in the pack was this dashboard that had, you know, these really cute paper clips and sticky tabs. And it actually was on the inside of this gold stripe pouch. But I I for, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't really realize that this was a pouch until after the fact when I checked out. I had already gotten this really cute pouch on the inside that I cut the zipper off of. Just to slide it on the inside. And I was going to put that in my my planner but I I couldn't find a good way to put it in there so it just hit me slide it on in there and there you go you have your little shaker dashboard I really like this because I was so bummed that I forgot to get all of the stuff to make me a shaker dashboard so this was a real lifesaver like real real lifesaver and that's this dashboard and the matching Zipper pouch was from the re is from Recollections. Also, that I got from Recollections are these magnetic paper clips, and I also got this set of unicorn washi. Yes, which I love, love. Yeah. Um, before I forget the. Elastic band that I use to close my binder actually came with the pouch that I stuck on the inside. And I got those for like a dollar fifty. So yeah. So now all I'm gonna do is pretty much just set my planner up. And aside from being cute, your planner is supposed to be functional. And it's all supposed it's also supposed to spark a happiness in you to where you actually want to, you know, get down and do your planner, you know, and actually have fun with it, enjoy it, and and keep up with all the things that you know you're trying to keep up with. So I just attached this paper to the back of this folder. That way I can protect my binder from the rings on the side. And, you know, just give it extra pockets and extra colors, you know, flowing in the front. So when I open it up, I get that ooh, ah sensation. So now I'm just going to go in with my journaling cards and things that I've already cut out. Now, also in this paper pad were sheets of really cute journaling cards and saying so I got everything I needed in one little walk so all I'm gonna do is pretty much just you know set my the front part up uh oh couldn't open it just to make it look real nice might have to glue that down. Oh, might want to put that right there. And I'm sorry if this is at a weird angle. Again. So I think I'm going to slide this cue card right here in the pocket that I made. Just slide those in there and get us, you know, a little cute, cute going. Can't even open up a thing. Now, I really never knew the purpose of journaling cards or anything like that. Like, Honestly, never knew what they were. Hmm. 
What else can I put in these pockets? I think I'm going to put this right there. I'm going to try to move this over for you guys without making too much of a ruckus and move the camera. Put that right there. So, of course, you can't get anything set up without paper clips. Actually, I absolutely adore paper clips. So, I'm going to take this cute little bow. Stick it right up in there. Kind of hold those things together. Trying to decide what other pieces I want to put in there. Also, with an extra piece of plastic that I got off of these two, I just used it to make me a washi card. With all the washi tapes I will probably use in my planner. Because a lot of times I do take, you know... I do plan on taking this with me for the most part. So I kind of just want to have that handy. So I just want to add some of these simple ones on here. So I'm just going to take one of each color, slide that on there. Now, if you prefer to actually have um, a fancier binder or, well, not binder, planner, then hey, go for what you know. But this is, you know, strictly just for those who kind of, they're kind of starting out with journaling. Well, not journal, planning. You yeah, know, I say journaling. Kind of just starting out and they're not sure if they really just want to do any of this just yet. So this is kind of a a really cute and fun way to warm up to it. I want to take one of these. Just kind of clip that up there. You know. Like I'm really Shaking it again. So my front pocket is done for the most part. Before I forget, I'm just going to take some of these binder clips. I swear I have the hardest time opening these. And I'm just going to take it. Put that right there. Because I'm going to use this to help hold my pen, but also to hold my strap when it is actually on the binder. So I'm just going to leave that right there. Nope. I think I want one more. You never have enough paper clips. I'll the clips for that much.
Yes. So I don't know if I told you guys or if I forgot, but I did get these really cute planner charms from Michaels. Like I thought these were adorable. I honestly have looked all over the place, like everywhere. Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, all of that. And it's like nobody sells. Like there's like nobody like keychains anymore. <laughs> like it's crazy. So I slide that in there and I'm just gonna put my dashboard right here. Like so. And also in that same paper pack, they had some of these. So I just pretty much put a hole in it to kind of put it right there. And I did write on these, but I do plan on laminating the other ones that I have and using those for later because I thought those were really, really cute. So I'm just gonna start with my dashboards that I made. So the paper wasn't double-sided or anything like that, but all I did was take my glue stick and just pair the papers with the ones I thought would fit best. Some of them don't, like this one, it doesn't have it on there or it doesn't have a bag. That's just because it's just a random paper just to, you know, just be throughout the, the binder. And I just decorated this one with a journaling card and some really cute washi. And I did the same on the back. And here's one of my little peekaboo pockets. You know, that I can, you know, just keep stickers or whatever have you in the, the pocket. Oh, and here's the other one. With the donuts on it. Here's another one of my double-sided dividers. And I'm really just trying to decide which one I want to go first out of these. So I think we're just going to go ahead and put that in there like that. And I'm just going to go ahead. And slide these pages in there and again these are the pages from the recollections calendar insert for the six ring binder here's another one of my just random papers just throughout just had a pop of fun pop of color now these tabs that are on the top, these tabs actually came in the sticker sheet set or the sticker book set that I had gotten. Another one of my journaling cards. Which is really, really like, really convenient. I honestly didn't realize that they were in there at first. Because I really just plan on making my own. But for the fact that those are in there, that just kind of just made my day. So I'm going to slide this playing card in there like that. And I think I need to add another tab to, to this particular one because I want to use this one as my gratitude binder well not my gratitude binder my gratitude section so 
see, look at how cute those are. Like, so adorable. Look at me. So busy into the stickers and I'm messing up. And how easy was that? I'm just going to add some of my paper. And I'll actually go back and make a video of me actually drawing out the layout for my, my gratitude um, section. Um, my vision board section and I'll also be I might do a budget section I'm really not sure just yet but we'll see when we get there those out of the way so here is the sticker pocket that I made and I use one of the paper cards out of the pad and I just folded it and glued it on and I really just keep all of my stickers that I will mainly be using throughout my planner kind of just cut those off and you know cut them to where I can fit them in there just nice goes like that So I'm gonna add some paper to this section. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna add this one in there for some decoration. Paper like he doesn't want to go in. I'm just gonna slide this last one. Here. Yeah, my dividers they kind of don't match up because I added some after the fact, but you know. So I'm kind of trying to decide where I want to put. I think I'll just slide this one right here. The front. Because this is the week that I'm already on, I'll just go ahead and slide that one right there. I'm just going to make my way to the back pocket. <clears throat> and again, this is an adhesive pocket. I'm going to slide my stickers in there. And I'll make this look real. There. 
and also these pocket this pocket has a, a slit as well I'll pick that up so I'm just gonna slide that there I like this, so I think I'm just gonna glue this right here. This glue is really sticky. I don't know if y'all can see that line. Really, really sticky. Boom, and there we go. Just gonna add that one there. I feel like the more paper clips, the better. Like, what planner doesn't look good with them. I mean, come on. And these paper clips right here. This one. And also this pink one. Are actually paper clips that I made myself. And I will be making a video with those on how to make, you know, your own planner accessories. You know, like the paper clips, of course, and, uh -oh, and a little shaker dashboard and laminating your dashboards and making dividers and pockets. All that good stuff. I'm just going to slide this particular paper clip right here, just to have it there. And also I have some of these journaling cards uh -oh, that I cut ho punched holes in so that I could just randomly find them throughout the journal. Not that they're, you know, um, whole, uh, bookmarks or anything. I couldn't even get the word out. <laughs> Not that they're bookmarks or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. I just thought they'd be really cute. Last but not least. I'm going to use this one, like I said before, to hold down my planner. I'm just going to take that and slide it up to clip it. Bring it down just like that. And that's to hold it to get out of the way. Now if you actually want to close your planner, you just take it, slide it, boom. Planner is closed. No problems.
but I'm not just all the way through just yet. So I am about eight. I got these pens. I got this pack, the pink and the blue, and I also got a pack of purple and green. And I literally got these for a dollar fifty. And as you can see, these are zebra. A dollar fifty at Family Dollar. Threw me for a loop. 